Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem involving algebra and equations suitable for beginners. Here is the problem. Solve x plus 1 square plus x plus 2 power 3 plus x plus 3 power 4 equals 2. Before we uncover the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab your pen and paper and give it your best shot. When you are ready, feel free to share answers in the comments. Then we explore the solution together. Let's get started. If you have a keen sense of numbers, you may try the value of x equals negative 2. In this case, the left hand side of the equation expressed as x plus 1 power 2 plus x plus 2 power 3 plus x plus 3 power 4 equals 2, which matches the right hand side. Therefore, x equals negative 2 is a solution. While x equals negative 2 is an obvious solution, could there be others? Knowing that x equals negative 2 is a possible solution, we can let y equals x plus 2. The original equation then transformed into y minus 1 square plus y power 3 plus y plus 1 power 4 equals 2. Expanding this carefully and rewriting it as a 4th degree equation, we get y power 4 plus 5y power 3 plus 7y square plus 2y equals 0. With y as a common factor, we factorize it to get y times y power 3 plus 5y square plus 7y plus 2 equals 0. From the second factor, we observe that if y equals negative 2, then the expression y power 3 plus 5y square plus 7y plus 2 equals 0. This indicates that y equals negative 2 is a solution, and hence, y plus 2 is a factor. Thus, the expression is y times y plus 2 times a quadratic expression in y with a leading coefficient of 1 and a constant term of 1. Considering the term in y, when the factors are expanded, we get 7y. This 7y arises from 1 times y plus 2 times a certain value of y. And it is 3. Checking the term in y square during expansion, we get 3y square plus 2y square, which is 5y square. That's correct. Now, let's proceed from here. This implies that y equals 0, y equals negative 2, or y square plus 3y plus 1 equals 0, which gives y equals negative 3 plus minus square of 5 over 2. Therefore, x equals negative 2, negative 4, or negative 7 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. These are the four solutions to this fourth degree polynomial equation. While we have successfully solved the problem, it is always beneficial to practice what you have just learned. Using a similar method, I believe that you can solve the following equation. Feel free to try it and share your answer in the comments. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and stay tuned for more exciting math challenges in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.